right, so in today's video, we're checking out the new Acrobee 65 V3 from Newbie Drone. This is based on their new B Brain brushless all in one flight controller board, also version 3. I think it's been probably about 10 or 11 months since I reviewed the version 2. Um, if I find that video somewhere, I'll link it down in the video description. But a lot of changes in version 3. I don't even think version 2 is even. Uh, for sale anymore, but I uh, might be on clearance. Um, if it is, I'll link that in the video description as well. But yeah, there's a lot of changes in version three here. Um, you know, obviously the uh, flight controller is totally different. The same, the, you got the same frame, the same uh, canopy. So you got the cockroach frame, the cockroach canopy, and the BI camera. Those are all the same. The motors are a little bit updated, so yeah, I flew with these nitro nitro batteries. The same, those are the same as before, the 300 milliamp hour one s So the motors are 0802s, but these are now Unibills, and the same KV as in the version uh, 2, uh, 0802, 18,000 KV, uh, now Unibell uh, motors, the same three bladed ASI props. And by the way, uh, when you get this, you're gonna probably wanna push those props all the way down to the base. They were kind of sticking out a little bit in mind when you crash they will bend these props but if they're pushed down all the way then uh that's less likely they'll get bent but yeah mine were i forgot to do that this time okay so those are all the changes uh let's talk about the flight controller board i'll uh put up some photos and stuff here if i can find some but uh the probably uh, well, a lot of changes but some of the significant ones are the VTX now does up to 120 milliwatts instead of 25 milliwatts only. It was on the previous version, so that was a uh, a feature that a lot of people really wanted. The built-in SPI FreeSky receiver is now improved, with they're saying up to an additional 50% of range. So if you were having if you were having some range problems previously on the old version, they have a I think a new low low noise amplifier on this one here. Of course the um, receiver is built into the board as well as the VTX. So now you have uh, power um, levels of 5 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts, and 120 milliwatts. And the board does come 5 milliwatts from the factory, so you will probably want to bump, bump it up to at least 50 milliwatts. And then obviously at 120 milliwatts, the heat and the battery life are affected. Uh, so 50 milliwatts is going to be fine for most indoor flying. The VTX antenna is removable like before. The FreeSky antenna um, on the SPI receiver is now removable as well. And there's two of them. There's a diversity here. So you have one over here and one over here. The battery connector is the same as before, the PH 2.0. And supposedly you can't reverse your battery by accident. The um, plugs are the same as before for the motors. They're the smaller one millimeter type plugs. The VTX here has a heatsink. That wasn't on the old version, obviously for the higher power to dissipate the heat. And then the ESCs now are 12 amps. I believe the old version was 12 amps as well, but now these come with uh, JESC firmware, um, the version 2.3, and come with 40 kilohertz enabled out of the box. Uh, no RPM filter enabled. Um, I don't think the ESC firmware is RPM filter capable either. So if you're wondering, that's pretty sure it's not the case. So with all of these uh, changes, it is a bit lighter than before. So mine here is coming in at 23.2 grams. I think, I think on the product page it's uh, saying 23 grams. So it's definitely lighter than previous the previous version. I think it's a three gram reduction in weight uh, from the old version. Uh, obviously it's not the lightest out there. I think like the Mob Light 6 is coming in like 18 something, 18 and a half grams, something like that. So if you're looking for the the lightest out there, this isn't it. This is definitely probably one of the more crash resistant ones out there now. And that's, you know, that's why if you want something a little bit more um, crash resistant, you're gonna have to carry more weight around to just deal with all the crashes. You know, I can tell you for sure that these, these cockroach frames and the cockroach canopy are pretty much indestructible. And as long as you push your props down on the motor bell here, um, you, these, prop, these props should hold up in most crashes. I mean, I mean, I've bashed it around this house, uh, my house, uh, pretty much uh, the last uh, week or so. No problems, no damage, and uh, no issues with performance or anything like that. So it's been working just fine. Now, if you're interested in some um, cheaper whoop gates, I know that I've, I've had that comments before in some of my previous videos. 
Uh, why aren't there any uh, less expensive whoop gates out there? Newbie Drone does have a new like inflatable uh, whoop gate. It's like comes in a pack of three for seventeen dollars, which is not bad. So like a little five dollars per gate. And um, yeah, I'll just show you a little video here of me flying around my kitchen uh, with it. It's you can probably kind of pretty much put them anywhere. Uh, you can use tape to stick them up on the walls or whatever, that kind of stuff. Just come with a cardboard base as well if you want to like just use them on the floor. That works great too. So yeah, they sent me three of those. And you can, you know, if you're looking for an inexpensive gate, those seem to work just fine. The, the opening the, or the gate's a little small for, you know, in my case, I would like to go faster. Um, but uh, it's it should be totally fine for most people, especially if you're doing indoor flying in you know, a smaller setting like a house. Okay, so if you're here for the giveaway, uh, this is what I'm going to be giving away here in this video. This is an older newbie drone product. I think it's uh, one of the early versions of the Hummingbird. Obviously, it's a brush whip here. I, I made a video about this a while back. Um, I, uh, I don't remember exactly when. I haven't been flying this, so I'm going to give this away in this video. Uh, there's going to be a link down in the description to the giveaway form. Make sure you follow all the rules on the giveaway form because it seems like People will go to the forum and don't even fill out everything, um, not even reading all the rules. And obviously you can't win if you don't follow the rules. So I do urge you to uh, read the giveaway form and make sure you follow all the rules in case you uh, want to try and win this uh, little whoop here. I was looking, was looking for a new home, so I want to give it away in this video. Okay, uh, here's some uh, additional flight footage. If you want to have any questions about this, let me know in the comments section down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.